Hi everyone, my name is Katie Moss. I'm the Youth Services Manager at Hamby Library, and we are here to kick off another season of our interactive database spotlight talks. In this series, we're going to highlight different databases that Hamley Regional Library System has in our vast collection of databases in our digital library. So we're gonna walk you through different databases each month. And we are going to show you all of the different features, who these databases are for, what you'll get out of them, and so much more. Especially as we are heading into our back to school season, this series will be perfect for those students who are working on building those research skills, who are maybe needing some homework help, and for the caregivers and teachers in their lives who are going to help them along the way. So let's go ahead and get started. Today's database is all about InfoClees. In our database talk, we're going to do an overview of the digital library. Of course, we're going to highlight the InfoClease audience and database in general, and then talk more about how to even utilize this database. But first, what even is a digital library? Well, let me tell you. A digital library houses a vast collection of free online resources for reading, watching, or learning capabilities. So of course, the Hanley Regional Library System Digital Library is accessible 24-7 for all of your needs with a library card. One of the many benefits of having a free library card, right? With a library card, you can access so many different kinds of databases as well. Whether you want to check out an ebook or download an audiobook that you might not have seen in the library, you could also dig into your family history or take a class, practice for upcoming tests, or just get some one on one tutoring help. Of course, you can see the array of collection that we have in the digital library at HamleyRegional.org. Specifically, a library database is a searchable collection of published reliable sources that offers advanced searching for your specific needs. So maybe you're looking for some extra help when it comes to learning a language or getting some tech help, learning how to use Zoom, all of those sorts of things. And I mentioned before, homework help. There really is a database for everyone. And so your library wants to make sure that you know about these databases and make sure you know how easy they really are to access. And so we're gonna talk about that more. InfoPlease is a reference and learning site combining the contents of an encyclopedia, a dictionary, an atlas, and several almanacs loaded with facts. InfoPlease is a database that is perfect for our elementary and up grades. So let's look a little bit more at InfoPlease. Here we are at the library's website, hanleyregional.org, and right on the homepage, there are many ways to get to the digital library. So if I scroll down, I could go right to the digital library button, but I'm going to show you an even more specific way. If I hover over the tab at the top, research and learn, I could go to homework help. These are filtered databases that are perfect for our students, K through 12. If you wanted to get more specific, you could of course limit to the side and filter by subject over here. So we have homework help. Let's scroll down until we find info, please. We're just going to visit the resource website. And here you are. You can access info, please, with the click of a button, just like that. Let me show you some of my favorite features in info, please. You can of course subscribe and get even more daily facts. This is a great feature for students and teachers specifically, and then more trending topics. So a very browsable site, you can narrow it down even more. There are a few subjects to choose from if you wanted to get some better help. So for instance, if, if I needed some help with biology, I could click here and it's going to take me to some broader subjects within this topic, like plants and animals. 
I have frequently asked questions and then even more narrow topics to choose from. So if I'm learning the five kingdoms of life, I could keep going and keep clicking to get more information. All of the information you're going to see on the site is credible and it is curated by education professionals. So you can rely on all of the sites that you're seeing here that click even further, the more you go, the more you're filtering and searching by subject. So there are more tools that you can choose from, a great look at an atlas, um, other sources here on the side. We talked a little bit about the quizzes. I like to promote these with our educators to support or supplement what they're already doing in the classroom. You could use these in a very interactive way to support your lessons. But this is my favorite feature, the daily IQ. It just encourages a daily dose of fun facts to promote that lifelong learning. Our word of the day is inu. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I suppose I could learn more. So InfoPlease is a very user-friendly site for students and educators alike. Again, this database is likely best suited for our elementary friends and up, usually grades two or three and up. And hopefully you are gonna find that this site is helpful when it comes to homework help and research skills. And to review, InfoPlease provides students information in numerous ways, numerous functions for that specific homework help or building overall studying tools. And likewise for educators, it provides an interactive way to engage with facts and quizzes that just continue to make learning fun. Friends, thank you so much for watching today's database spotlight talk. Thank you for using your library. If you have more questions about this specific database, info, please, or any of the databases in our digital library, feel free to call, email, or send a chat on our website to any of the library staff, and we'll be happy to help you. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.